Hello, good morning. Top and on set break. Today we're going to do a little room tour and a little shopping trip, see if we can fish out any bargains in our cabinet room. Oh, what have we got here? So we've got a bit of silverware here. Let's see what we got. Silver is one of my favourites. Got some beautiful rings there. Let's open this up and see what we can find. Quite a nice crit set back there, 126, not bad really. And these cigar lighters are absolutely lovely, these table lighters. As you see, this would unscrew, and you put your lighter fluid in there, light the top of that. Uh, you've got some more here. These are lovely little things, it's pushing in. The sky on little genie's lamp cigar lighter. You've got ink, oh, that's a nice ink quill there. Very shiny, it's all very well presented. So, oh, good hallmarks. It's my photo frame. They might make a good gift. Framing the picture of a loved one. A bit more silver. I think that's a bit of plate actually there. That'd be nice too. Got a bit of Scottish. Ah, Punch and Judy, that's a nice one. It's really desirable at the moment. People do huge collections of Punch stuff. <laughs> Not sure why, but then we got some scent bottles. Tiffany you know, these scent bottles. There is one with some solid jade, I believe. Oh, this and that beautiful solid carb jade. Wonderful scent bottles. I mean, some of these, the colours and the workmanship in some of these is amazing. See this one here. And you've got your little snuff spoon in there. Slightly more modern ones. I mean, it ranges these from early Victorian up to 1970s true vintage. What that is, a little thing to go on your finger, I think. That's quite a fun thing. <laughs> Lovely little range of jade and jadeite carnelian animals. Make a perfect gift. Oh, a little. Turtle, make a great gift. Got some lovely cloisonne vases. Plates aren't really my thing, to be honest, but each their own. There's some lovely stuff in there. Got that one up. So here we've got some lovely smalls, some brooches here on the top. Celtic brooches, also very popular, very collectible. So these are these are originals. I don't think these are reproduction. There you go, 1938. I mean, they're fairly priced items. The workmanship that goes into them is very impressive. So you've got the Nordic ships, you've got agate, you've got uh, citrine or cairngorm stones, they call them. Lovely opal brooch here, a bit of nine carats, and some charm bracelets at the back there. There's a great, there's a good selection of jewellery, actually, we'll have a look. In the detail of some of these. These little claw brooches. Right there. Lovely items, and these sword brooches especially, I mean, that would make such a good statement addition to any outfit. And they're Robert Allison, Robert Allison's a very desirable silversmith. I think based on the Isle of Iona, or maybe the Isle of Skye. So you've got some toast racks, sugar tongs. These are fun, aren't they? Silver plated pheasants. Big solid pheasants. Great items. <laughs> £58, pound, really not bad to be honest. Especially if you're into shooting and that. Nice tea caddies. Georgian bottle coasters. And again, more frames. So you've got actually, that's a lovely. Art Nouveau style frame at the back, you see with blue and green enamel. Lovely mirror. Some remove again. Some more smalls. I photo miniatures here, if you're into miniatures. Again, not really my thing, but there's some lovely miniatures in there. Watercolours, pastel works on porcelain, not on ivory anymore. Some of them cased and just lovely frames. I mean, these again range from Georgian 
up until oh, a decade really when they started becoming less desirable but there's some lovely things there again more smalls bit of tortoiseshells very nice swans brooches along there so we've some more sturdy antiques in here more arts and crafts solid bits of brass and copper get that open some barley twist candlesticks up there oh, solid makes a big great statement edition mini home you got this excellent frame there good victorian frame the quality and the workmanship of victorian brass and the victorian copper is just so different to what we got today so you've got this lovely little i think this is an edwardian level i'm not really sure what it would actually be used for because it's so tiny but it seems to still work it seems to get the bubble inside got some chunky keys all sorts of candlesticks i've got a cutter Bit of Staffordshire down there, ink stands. We move on. Look that up. got chargers on the top, kettles. And it's just endless, it just goes on and on and on. So you've got your, if you're a bit short on the cutlery and you want something a bit more stylish, you've got mother of pearl and silver plate, butter knives, cake forks, all sorts, toast racks, knife racks. Some nice old Art Nouveau frames, beads, some mixed glassware. Here you got some, do we have a bit of more, ah, there's a bit of more craft in there. For the more craft collector, some Art Nouveau tiles, some more more craft. And there's just all sorts, I mean porcelain as well, porcelain pottery. And that's lovely. I don't know a huge amount about it, but it's just a beautiful glazing. Great work, I'm sure that goes into that. All sorts about there, not going to go through that now. <laughs> and then you got a bit of jewellery. Some pretty cool charms in there. Some fun brooches. Lovely bit of coral. Some seed pearls. And then more of the vintage stuff. I mean, the vintage stuff is so popular at the moment. I think jewellery, charms especially, charms, bracelets, making a bit of a comeback really. Look at those rings, they're absolutely perfect. I mean, good price as well. They range from between about 10 to 30 quid. They're all silver, all hallmark tested. Bit of silver in here, some nice frames again. Sugar tongs, classic. Napkin rings, always go down well. And we've got a bit of miscellaneous in here. Some fabrics, more pottery, ceramics, nice stuff. And here you've got some Georgian glassware. It's not, again, not really for me, but there's some lovely stuff in here. I'll get out, try and smash that whole cabinet. I'll do so. So they've got these incredible air twist stems that you just don't see i'm not entirely sure how it's done but it's just the way the glass is fused and they create this air twist pattern and you've got that great etching in here floral etching so this 1745 early georgian carnation george the second maybe george the first i'm not entirely sure my timeline's terrible you got your Bristol blue up there, brandy and rum. It doesn't like brandy and rum. All sorts of lovely glasses, decanters. Most of it is Georgian, predating a few bits of Victorian, but not very much. It's just amazing to get it in this condition, really. No cracks, no chips, given that it's 300 years old. You got some more frames up there. Little miniature frames, perfect as little christening presents, these with your baby in there. And some more brooches, some Ruskin pottery inlaid in sterling silver. I mean, they make great, vibrant additions to any outfit. A bit of enamel, I think enamel as well is making a bit of a comeback. Some lovely enamel, it's just the colours really, everything colourful. 
And then you've got some big chargers. Some candlesticks. Yeah, more lots of craft stuff, copper, brass. And then some chargers on the top. So we're back round really to the silver. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And it's given you a little taste of what we've got here at Total Nine Antiques. I mean there's five floors to look at, 60 dealers, so give yourself at least a couple of hours and you will not be disappointed. Thank you and have a splendid day.